Hey everyone, Jolt here. I want to quickly demonstrate to you a new feature that I implemented in Excolibrain that I think is going to be game changing. From now on, Excolibrain is going to index the URLs in documents as well. So for example, you can see here, this is my note about free visual and communications resources. And this page is full of URLs. Now, you can also see that some of these URLs, so for example, here, this URL at the top has a data view field, which functions as an ontology for this link. And in my Excolibrain configuration, I've set up that source, the source ontology should be displayed above the node. So I can see that this page was the inspiration for the free visual and communications resources. And I can also see that below the page, I have a whole bunch of links. I know which ones are the links because the links have this globe. And so I can navigate these links. The cool feature I want to show you is if I click here on the noun project, this is one of the resources. Then first of all, I get a web page that actually functions. So here, if I search for a car, for example, then this web page actually works. But what you can also notice that I have three references to this web page, and I want to talk about these for a second. The first reference I want to point out is the origin or the host. This is useful if, for example, you're linking to multiple Wikipedia articles or multiple Twitter tweets. In that case, you will have a page up here. Maybe we can look at my Wikipedia page later on that will connect all the Wikipedia pages across my vault and I can navigate based on the source. And on the left hand side, I can see two notes in my vault that reference this. We were here just now in the visual and communications resources page where you can take my word for it, but here amongst the links, the other link that I'm referencing here, the storyboard for the visual PKM training is not represented, but by way of having both of these pages link to the same web page, I can connect the two thoughts, the two notes, and I can use these URLs as a way of linking my thinking in new ways. This page right here, this is a very busy page. This is the mind map that I shared with you in last week's video. You can see it has lots of links, but actually the link to the free communications resources was not here. But because I have these URLs indexed, I can connect the two ideas. Now you can also search for URLs. So for example, I'm going to search for linking your thinking. And if I click here, this is the host page, the root of the linking your thinking pages. And you can see that I have four references to various pages on linking your thinking. For example, I have this page for Vicky Zhao's and Failing's session about the compass of zettel cost and thinking. And under this, I have my own note. And up here, amongst the sources, you will see here one of the sources is the LYT conference recording, which I can actually watch right here. So I have the YouTube embedded right here. And so this is then another way to connect ideas. And then finally, let's maybe look at Wikipedia and let's see how many items I have connected. So you can see I have lots of connections to Wikipedia, but this is how you can use the host to connect your various documents that link to the Wikipedia. So I believe that this feature is game changing because this gives you a new way to connect thoughts in your vault and gives you a new way to search and interrogate your Obsidian vault. So I know Excolibrain can be a bit intimidating. I've been putting some work into Excolibrain over the last couple of weeks, making it more stable, more user-friendly, 
as well as adding tons of features. So for example, I've recently added the frame feature that we were using until now, but this is the legacy view of Excolibrain. I think with the links, with these developments, this might be the right time to give Excolibrain a try. And let me know in the comments what you found, how you found connections between your thoughts using links. And overall, I'd be interested to hear your feedback and comments and ideas regarding the tool. Thank you.